Hello everyone, this is my new part three on how to make your own solar panel. As you can see, I have three strings uh, made up of six cells each, and this is what your front should look like, and this is what your back should look like. Uh, I need to do a little more soldering to connect them all together to make it one continuous string. As you can see, the one flipped over, uh, there's nothing on the back. So I need to do some more tabbing on the backs to uh, make them ready to put them together. So I'll show you on one how to uh, tab it again real quick and then I'll, I'll stop the camera and then uh, I'll start again once I'm done. Alright, so take a solder iron and I've already put on the, the flex pen to, uh, to save some time. Okay, so I got my solder on there, and I've already pre-cut my tab wire, and these don't have to be quite as long as the, the ones when you're tabbing the top. So if I can get this to line up... Okay, so I got this one tabbed on the back. I'm going to go ahead and do that with the three, and then we'll uh, start rolling again and continue from there. Okay, all three strings have been soldered, as you can tell, on the top there. And they are ready to be put into a string. Uh, but before I start to connect these, I'd like to talk a little bit about the string first. Um, we'll start with this one. On the top of this cell, this tab wire is negative, and on the bottom, which is positive. So, as you can tell, the negative on the cell is connected to the positive of the next cell. So you have you know, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, and so forth. So this here is negative. So, the bottom, this one, is positive. So we'd like to continue that theme, our pattern, of you know, negative, positive, negative, positive, which this one is doing. So this is negative, this is positive. So this string uh, needs to, since the bottom tab here is positive, the next string needs to be negative, which is this one. So, we need to flip the string over very carefully and now we have the continuation pattern of positive and going back to the top one which is negative and the string continues and this down here which is positive now goes to negative on this one so the string continues now what I'll be doing is using this bus wire and soldering this to the connections. And when we get to here, I need a long one because I'll be connecting the positive and the negative. So that'll continue the, the flow or the pattern. And the same in here we have, which is the underneath the positive on this one, and that goes to the negative on this one. So now it is one continuous pattern. So on this end, we have the positive, and it folds all the way to the negative. Okay? So we are ready to start soldering. Okay, so now I'm ready to solder the the bus to the tab wire. Alright, I got my
solder iron. And just gonna oops, that was a little off. That's a little more solder on that one. Okay. There's uh, the first one, and as I, sorry if I'm over explaining this, but now this one is negative and it's connected to there. Okay, so went ahead, soldered all the the bus on there. Now I have a nice, uh, nice pattern of negative all the way to positive. So I won't do this on camera because I'm almost out of time. But I'm gonna just gonna clean this up. And one last thing, if your uh, rows aren't quite straight, you can just reheat the solder and adjust them. It, it does melt pretty easy and uh, you can make them a little straighter. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Take care and God bless.